Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your host, the most famous YouTuber in the world that no one has ever heard of. Welcome back, everybody. We are working on the chicken coop again. I know it's been a hot minute since I put a video out, but uh, I've been busy. I'm busy. We, uh, let's see, we took the flywheel transmission all that to the balance guy. Anyway, we're all packed up. Right, I wanted to show you a little bit of what we're dealing with here today. It is New England. It is fall. That tree is just about changing. Look at that one across the street. Look at the colors. Look at that birch tree. Had those balanced up. I didn't get a whole lot of footage while I was in there. I did get a couple of clips. I'll put them in here. After that, we put the crankshaft in the block and spun it with a lathe and fit all the rods and fit all the mains. Keeping an eye on them. And on to the rods. All new Babbitt. So that's all set. Let's see, we went back to the balance guy and we picked up that. But he wasn't there. So that was just a just a long boring drive really, but the, the foliage was nice. Oh we got the moon. That trees changed colors. Okay, today we get this all cleaned up. I got my mess cleaned up. Everything's organized. Removed parts washer over there on top of the broken parts washer. Like I said, we got everything lined up, ready to go. I've got the camshaft. I'm pretty impressed with this camshaft and these bearings so far. They seem to they seem to fit pretty good. I ran them in and now I'm dirty again. The camshaft itself, this is a, a Pruce cam. I couldn't get a stipe cam, so we went with Pruce. It was uh, apparently it's clone. Going off of these specs. Oh, it's a shame I couldn't get it from Bill, but Kevin made them, so whatever. The lobes look good. Hopefully, it's as accurate as as Bill's was. New clips, new bearings. This is all set. I just haven't taken it out of the thing. I'm going to put it in the block and make sure everything's lined up straight and not stuck. 
These, uh, the bolts go in those holes there. There's another one under there somewhere. So yeah, I think the next thing we're going to do, and it's not going to be in this video because I'm going to put a whole bunch of clips in around this one, is we're going to ream out these holes in the next video. We're going to ream out these holes and we're going to start working on the valve train. After the valve seats are cut, the valves are in, lifters are in, camshafts in, and we can start reassembly. It's been a long road. A long road. This one has fought me every step of the way. Apparently we got a little dog in the neighborhood. Little dog is not happy across the street. All right, whatever. Yeah, it's been a long road. We're gonna we're gonna hone out those cylinders as well before we put those pieces back in, and probably paint the block. So I trip on my crap pile. We're gonna paint the block too, as well. Hopefully, Abby comes back and helps me with with all that, and hopefully, she'll be in the next video. Uh, very good helper. She's been helping me since she was two. Uh, actually, all my kids used to help me when they were little. One thing we need to address is the we're going to have to check out that generator at some point. It's been sitting for 70 years. This whole car has been sitting for 70, 70 years. You imagine that. Sitting in a barn collecting chickens all right well let me get let me get back to work here and I will see you in the next one thanks for watching right. I don't know if he's turning around and delivering oil there or what he's stopped twice now never ever ever quiet here Okay, this is a first for me. Check this out. Super loose, right? Can we agree? I'm going to loosen these. Loosened. Now it's tight. If I tighten it up, it's loose. That's nuts. <laughs>